Okay, let's sketch some basic lines. We have a slope, we have intercept. I recommend you attack the intercept first. This is going to be one, two, three. Draw a dot here, and you know this is at three. And the slope is two over one, which is rise over run. Positive two means you go up two, and the run of one means you go right to the one. Draw a dot there, and then connect the lines. This is a line. So when we have rise and run, positive means you go up and to the right. If there's a negative, you go left or down. Let's sketch another line over here. Again, begin with the intercept of negative 2, which means you go down 2. This is negative 2. 0, comma 0 is the center here. Now we're going to focus on the slope. The rise is negative 2, which means you go down 2. And the run is going to be positive 5, which means you go 5 to the right. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there's a dark dot over there. Just make sure you only put two dots, and you just have to connect them. And this is your nice line for the part B. Now let's move on to C. The intercept is like plus 0. It's not, there's nothing there, so we know that it's going to go through the origin over here. This is 0. And the slope here is rise, 3 up. 1, 2, 3. And the run is going to be negative 2, which means 2 to the left. So we're going to connect the dots, and it's going to look something like that. Finally, let's look at part D. You can see how there's two negatives for this term, and two negatives make a positive. So this is the same thing as saying y is equals to x over 4 plus a half. And if you think of x over 4, that's the same thing as saying 1 fourth times x, or 1 fourth x. So these are equivalent. This is the y-intercept is a half, so let's just represent that. So we're going to say that this is 1, so a half would be, the y-intercept would be over here, and the rise would be 1 over 4. So the rise is going to be 1, which is 1 unit up. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, etc. So 1 up from here would be somewhere exactly between over here. But we shouldn't put a dot there, we're just going to do it very lightly. So we go up 1, and this is going to be 4 to the right. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, and then put a dot here. We're going to take a ruler and then connect it. This is going to be your line, something like that. If fractions bother you, you can always convert these to decimal numbers.